you got? Matchbox car. Chevrolet Corvette. How in God's name does that get into the middle of a field in Essex? Don't know. I mean, who's been playing with cars up here? Don't know. You know, a Roman coin, I can understand, but a Chevy Corvette? Doesn't make any sense. Here! Did you hear about old Bob Cromer? What about him? Dead, mate. Shut up. Shot by lightning. No! Third this year. Down at Horwell, Greg Peters, and now poor old Bob. You know why, don't you? Why? Because the best finds always appear right before a thunderstorm. Suddenly, you've left it too late, and you're the highest point in the landscape. All three were running when they were struck. What a way to go. Yeah. What you got? Pontiac Firebird. Will you search through the lonely earth for me? Climb through the briar and bramble. Treasure. You fancy a cup of Good Morning America? No, thanks. <sighs> that is a damn fine cup of coffee. Which? Twin Peaks. So, I was thinking about getting a band back together. What band? You and me. Were we in a band? Oh, we jammed together a few times. I only remember once, around your flat trying to do Wonderwall and you couldn't reach the high notes. No, it was more than once. Do we have a name? Fanny Magnet. That's right, Fanny Magnet. Anyway, I've written a new song. I want to do it at the open mic at the White Horse. What's the song called? New Age Girl. Is it about Maggie? No. All right, I'm up for it, if it's any good. Well, come round to mine. Tuesday night before we head off to the club, and I'll play it for you. Hey there! Who's this? Looks like Simon and Garth Uncle. Hello there! Watcher. How are we? Feeling groovy? Good, good. Lovely day. Isn't it? Haven't seen one of them for a few years. Oh, on the Arado. Yeah, they're pretty rare these days, but uh, there's still a few out there if you know where to look. Antique shops? They're certainly classics, yeah. So you've gone for the CTX. Mm, good machine. A bit flashy for my liking. Yeah, not really your style. Do you have permission to detect on this land? Indeed we do, do you? Who from? Not telling you. Immature. Are you? No, you are. We got here first. Well, there's nothing stopping us getting permission from the landowner. Farmer Bishop gave us exclusive rights 50-50. Well then, we shall have to see if we can make Farmer Bishop a more attractive proposition. Who are you, a bond villain? We have done extensive research. I assume you have done the same? Of course. Yep. We shall see. Mr. Bond. Hmm. Oh, sorry mate, didn't mean to make you cry. It's hay fever. Don't cry, mate. I feel awful. Say, Fever, I forgot to take an antihistamine. Well, you want to borrow my hanky? <laughs> Not crying. It's all a little tissue, mate. Please don't cry. Oh, it doesn't bode at all well. What's in that file? Maybe they know what's in here. We need to go and see Bishop. Tell him not to give anyone else permission. Yeah, can, can you pop round on the way home? Uh, I've got to go and see Mags help out in the shop. What? When will you learn to say no? I don't want to say no. I want to help her. All right, I'll go, but remember I don't have any of your charm or charisma. Do your best.
best. Yes? Hello, Mr. Bishop, it's me. I came with my friend to ask for permission to detect on your land. Oh, yes, the metal detectors. Detectorists. Yes, have you found something? Not yet, Mr. Bishop. Larry? Not yet, Larry. But we were wondering whether you wouldn't mind not giving permission to anyone else to search your land. Right. It's just that there's a contingency of rogue detectorists out there. Rogues? Treasure hunters. They'll come under the cover of night and rob important sites of their artefacts. Good God! I know. It's despicable. I'll tell you what I remembered just after you left. There were some things ploughed up a few years ago that might be of interest to you. What sort of things? Well, I, I don't know. Trinkets? Look like costume jewellery to me. Any idea what happened to them? Somewhere around God knows where. I did offer them to Justine, but she thought they were ugly. Is that your wife? Well... No, you... You mentioned Justine. I wonder whether Justine was your wife. Justine isn't here. Come on, where are you? Stop chasing those rabbits. You'll never catch them, you fat, unhealthy creatures. <laughs> Quite mad. Insane. Yes, well, cheerio, then I'll, uh, I'll keep my eyes peeled for those things. Come along, then. Come along. We go the other way this time. Make a change, eh? I think so. Yeah, be great. Come on, then. We've got to keep on. Oh, that's lovely, Lance. How exciting. Yeah, well, I thought nothing to lose. I always said you should do something with your music, didn't I? You did. I have to love it when you played your mandolin. Reminded me of Kermit. Kermit plays a banjo. How exciting, though. Well, think you can come? Definitely. What is all this? It says mixed spiritual on the box. Yeah, it's spiritual stuff. Mixed. Tarot cards, dream catchers, resin dragons. Oh, there's this massive warehouse out by Stansted. You buy it by the weight. It's cheap, you just don't know what you're going to get. Spiritual lucky dip. Kind of, yeah. Um, oh, great. All right, Lance. She got you slaving. Tony, I didn't realise you were here. Not lending a hand. I can't. With my herniated discs. Got it. Lance has invited us to a folk night at the White Horse next week. Sounds good. Lance is doing a gig. Well, it's not a gig. No, I might do a song. I haven't decided yet. Probably won't. All right, Lance. Rock and roll. What's the song about? Nothing. Nothing? What's it called? That's everything, Maggie. I'll get off. Yeah, thanks, love. Oh, and you're still okay to take my mum to bingo? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you're not free? No, uh, football. All right, you playing? Watching. Portman Road? No, on TV. Right. Thanks, love. Now she loves her bingo. Yeah, okay. See ya. Bye bye, Bye-bye, Lance. Oh, that's lovely. I'm going back to bed. Okay. Afternoon, sir. Hello. Do you have a child in this school, sir? Pardon? Do you have a son or a daughter who attends this school? No, I don't have any kids. Right. Just taking a few photos. I was checking my messages. Can I ask what you're doing here? I'm waiting for my girlfriend. She'll be out in a minute. What class? Uh, Chaffinch class, I think. I think all the pupils from Chaffinch class have got. She's the teacher. She's not. She's a teacher. Here she is now. Radio, right, sir. It's just you were making some of the mums nervous.
Hello. This is a nice surprise. Good day. Yeah, not bad. Do I look like a paedophile? What? I've just been questioned by a policeman because I was making mums nervous. <laughs> well, you do have a bit of a look about you. What kind of look? Like you said, more drug dealer than paedophile. Oh, that's what it must be. Yeah. You're better now. Yeah, don't worry about it. Lance is not my boyfriend. <laughs> he worships you. He does not. He thinks I'm a wet blanket. Maybe he's more astute than I give him credit for. Oh, cute. <laughs> I think he's lonely. He says he wants to get the old band back together. You and Lance were in a band? Apparently. What were you called? Can't remember. He says he wants us to do one of his songs at the White Horse next Thursday. Can you come? No, it's a school night. I have marking to do. Oh, bugger. What's brought this on, then? Is he having a crisis? I think he's trying to impress Maggie. Oh, dear. He really needs to move on. What's the song like? I haven't heard it yet. Could be excruciating. Could be really embarrassing. Please come. <laughs> You're really selling it. I truly love to, but I'll have 30 stories to read. Imagine their little faces when I say I couldn't be bothered and went to the pub instead. Fuck them. Hello, mate. You like Swedes? No, 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 vegetable. Good. Yeah, come around, I'll knock you something up. Oh, you speak to Bishop? Yeah, interesting. It's utterly mad. I'll tell you when I come round, I'm in the middle of something. Day 414. All right, see ya. So, he reckons he's still got some of the artefacts? He reckons so. Don't knock on the glass, mate. It stresses him out. I wasn't gonna. So, what are we eating? Swede surprise. Oh yeah, what's the surprise? How bland it is. Hmm. That is bland. Surprisingly bland. Wish you hadn't told me. Speaking of which, how much are we going to tell the rest of the club about Bishop's Farm? Well, I reckon we keep it to ourselves for the tambourine. I mean, if they get wind of the fact that there's been a previous excavation and Bishop's finds, whatever they turn out to be, well, Someone will phone the Beards and it'll all be over. It's just time we're still in the research phase. Deal. So, when am I going to hear this song of yours? Uh, I... I don't know if I want to do that anymore. Oh, what? I built myself up for it. I've invited some A&R people down. Mm. I've run into a problem. Yeah? I can't stand up. Yes, you can. I've seen you. No, I, I can't stand up and play the mandolin. Why not? I've practised too long sitting cross-legged on the floor. When I get up, it just goes to shit. Well, sit down and play me the song. Back when the sky was clear and blue I met a girl who looked like you But when she opened her arms I fell clean through 
And now I don't know what to do. Well, that's quite good. You, you sound surprised. I am, I'm astounded. You think it's astounding? No, I'm astounded that it's quite good. Fair enough. Of course, it's 90% instinct. What are you swinging these days, young Hugh? I still have the VK30. Mm. Nothing wrong with the VK30. Good solid detector. Basic, but it's got its place. Uh, many a good find found with the 30. In fact, what? Tesla, what did they find the uh, Ainsford Horde with? XP Deus. Was it? Oh. I thought it was the VK30. Anyway, good on you. What did you do with the Bentley? Yeah, how did you get hold of that? You're announcing information, yes. How do you know about that? You told me, didn't you? Did I? Well done, mate. Who else you told? Don't worry, I won't mention it. Why is it a secret? No, it's not a secret, it's just we're still researching it. I would not wish being struck by lightning on anyone, Russell. You just said he deserved it. That's not what I said. You never liked Bob Cromer. Well, that's not the point. It doesn't matter that me and Bob didn't always see eye to eye. What I am saying is that Bob Cromer ignored some fundamental rules of health and safety. Day one of metal detecting school. Is there such a place? No. no. Bob was not a member of this club, and I'm glad. Because we have not had a fatality in the DMDC for nearly three years, and I intend to keep it that way. So, chaps, how'd you get on with Bishop? Has he shown you where he's buried his wife yet? Uh, still very much in the research phase, Terry. Oh, you can't do too much research, boys. <laughs> what are the three R's I'm always talking about, Hugh? Uh, research, research, research. That's right. I made that up to emphasise how important research is. So, what is going on with this fine stable? That's two matchbox cars and it's, well, it's a spoon. Whose is the spoon? That's mine. Do we have an idea on the spoon? Little chef. <laughs> Come on, people, we can do better than this. I suggest you all go and change the batteries on your detectors. So why are you being so secretive? What do you think's on that farm? Well, we know there's a big Saxon ship burial around here somewhere. King Sexred of the East Saxons. Riches of the seventh century kings? Exactly. Why do you think he's around here? We know he's around here. Bede says so in Historia Ecclesiastica. Whoa, you know the Venerable Bede? Whoa, do you know what patronise means? <laughs> Sorry. It's just I don't think half the professors at university have read Bede. Well, you can learn a lot from the amateurs. We're the most passionate, the plebs. Are you allowed to use that word these days? In a historical context, yeah, it's fine. I could do some reading at uni if you like, see what I can find out. Yeah, cool. Lance won't mind, will he? No, why would he? I think he thinks I'm muscling in. No, he's just very protective of his patch and his hobby. And he's got a big problem with the antique researchers. The antique researchers? I know, right? What does that even mean? They're just taking the first half of antiquities and put it on the front of searchers. Why can't they just call themselves the antiquity searchers? It's not like it's a pun or brilliant wordplay or anything. It makes me mad. And you think Lance has the problem? <laughs> Uh, this next track, this this first track, this track, this this song, is about uh, a very special lady. I wrote this song about a, a very special person. A person who means an awful lot to me. A person whose light I only saw after she was gone and I was plunged into darkness. This is a song about how you, you don't really know what you've got until it's gone. About how you don't appreciate the good things in your life until they bunk off with the manager of the local pizza hut. Thank you.
is actually all right. It's surprisingly good. Tell me the lyrics. I can't remember them. Yes, you can, some of them. You'll have to come along. It's about Maggie. I reckon so. Well, yeah, it is. And are you singing or just playing? I might lay down a harmony. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to come. I'll work through lunch to get my marking done. Wait. <laughs> and Lance is going to be sitting on the floor. Cross-legged. <laughs> so who's the front man? He is, I suppose. With you standing behind him, staring at the ground. I wouldn't be staring at the ground, what do you mean? You are always staring at the ground. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> you are. You're always scanning the ground, looking for stuff. You can't help yourself, it's all those years detecting. You never look up. No wonder you've got a bad back. Come on. Honestly, I bet you'd be amazed at the things you've missed because you've been locked in your own little world, staring at the floor. Rubbish. <laughs> Cool. My mate. Mate. Sophie. Did you phone her? Text you. Oh, I thought we were doing this on our own. Yeah, she hasn't even got a detector. What's the problem? She already knew about the permission. Yeah, only because you told her. I don't remember telling her. What's she saying? That was amazing. Sophie? Did you organise that for me? What? The fly past. Huh? Oh, never mind. How's it going? Yeah, all right, not bad. Found anything? Uh, not much. Three copper nails and a screwdriver. You got copper nails? I got five of them. Ship's nails? Nah, too modern. Nah, these are brand new, pain in the arse. You know the Saxon king that you're looking for? Sex Red, king of the East Saxons, yes. I'm not convinced that he's buried here. Why not? Where's he buried then? Well, I'm not sure he's buried anywhere. Well, he's got to be buried somewhere. The Venerable Bede... Overrated. OK. Bede says that Sex Red and his brothers went to fight the West Saxons. They were slain in Wessex. Yeah, and then they brought the body back here. The army was completely destroyed. There was nobody left. Well, a couple of them carried the corpse here. <sighs> Sorry. I don't buy it. Why are you so convinced that he's here? You saw a documentary on Discovery presented by Derek Thompson. Who? Charlie off of Casualty. No, it's not actually universally accepted that they did voyage west anyway. Some sources believe that the battle took place here. What sources? Charlie off of Casualty. Who's that? Where? Over there. Over the long grass. It's probably just a rabbit. It's those wankers trying to muscle in on our patch. Morning, ladies. Having a cuddle. What's going on? We don't have to justify ourselves to you. Right, so you're just having a cuddle in the grass then? Come on, let's go. What's that? Oh, nothing. Here, look. Look at that. You bastards. Look, it's them copper nails. Right, I'm calling the police. Uh, for what reason? This is a public right of way. We've got just as much right to be on this land as you have. Hello, uh, police? All right, just hold on. Yeah, I'm in a field on the Birchwood Road and I've come across a couple. I assume they're a couple. Canoodling in the long grass. I know you're not on the phone. Hmm? Describe them? Well, they look a bit like the folk duo, Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Robinson. I know you're not on the phone. So, come on. Let's go. Who are they? Antique researchers. Hey there! Don't worry, they won't bite. They're only being friendly. There he is. I've been looking for you, chaps. I found this for you. Larry, this is Sophie. Hi. Pleasure, pleasure. <laughs> this is what I was telling you about. 
Old man Adam found these when he was ploughing God knows how many years ago. 30, 40 years ago? They're probably nothing. You're right, uh, Larry. Probably worthless. Well, you're welcome to have him. No, 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 no. You keep hold of them. Any idea where they were ploughed up? Not exactly sure. But it wasn't in the paddock. Don't go digging around down there. You're not allowed in the paddock. Well, you are, Larry. What do you think this is made of? Brass. Could be brass, Larry. Could be brass. Come on, girls. Come on. You gotta tell him. Tell him what? You know damn well what. That was gold. So? We have a responsibility to report it. Wrong. We don't have a responsibility to do anything. It's nothing to do with us. Listen, you tell him what those things are, and he'll be on the phone to the Eastern Daily Press, and this whole place will be crawling with stubble surface faster than you can say Staffordshire Horde. There's plenty of time to report to our local finds liaison officer when we actually find something. This could be a site of real importance. Let's hope so. Look. I'm not trying to do anything illegal or underhand. We didn't find those things. Old man Adam did, over 40 years ago. So when we do find something, we'll, we'll go through the proper channels, declare it all above board. But let's find it first, all right? Told you, see? Venerable bead, full of shit. Mustang. 